You know, it's kind of love it out here in Dubai, not gonna lie. I mean, the whole views, pretty dope scenery, like something that you don't really get to really enjoy back at home, where I come from, West Africa, Ghana. I mean, let's just be honest with it. So anytime I'm here, I'm super hyped, super excited. But, you know, with good environment, with developed neighborhood, also comes repercussions, right? <laughs> so if you don't know, you've been following me on Instagram, then you might have just realized that I paid a fine of about 4,200, AED, which is just equivalent of about 10,000 Ghana cities, which is like a lot of money. It's a big deal, you know, in fines for, well, I say over speeding or a little bit of, you know, missing speed limits, you know. So, yeah, that's one thing that perhaps just turns me off. <laughs> Because back at home, I mean, it's not like I mean, I'm driving too over speed and just regular. But anyway, that's not even the important topic for today. What is important today is I'm about to teach you something that's going to blow your mind. I want to teach you the importance of candlestick closure, right? Let me rephrase it. The importance of waiting for candlestick closure. Most traders don't even realize that that is even a thing in trading. They only just think that, okay, because you want to be a trader, once the market gets to your level, buy. Once it gets to your level, sell. Especially for people that use order blocks people that use pending orders they don't really have anything to do with candles closure but in this very very youtube video i'm going to show you why you really don't want to mess with candles closure so yeah without wasting my time let's roll right into the video so yeah guys um as you know it i'm still going to be using my tablets as usual for the illustration right but i'm going to give you guys like a very simple breakdown first of the anatomy of candlesticks right before we talk about candlestick closures we first must understand the anatomy of candlestick because i believe that if you don't really understand the anatomy of candlestick then you may not necessarily understand the relevance of waiting for like the closures right so yeah like i said i'm about to show you the real anatomy of a candlestick then you're going to understand exactly what we mean by waiting for the importance of a closure right if you don't know it when it comes to time frames that we trade and we have so many several of them right the most popular ones right if you're going to capture my screen here we have like the one minute right which i'll denote by one m let me make this one a little bit bigger we have the five minute we have the 15 minutes we have the 30 minutes then we have the one hour we have the four hours then we have the dailies, then we have the weekly, and then we have the monthly time frame, right? So all these are usually time frames that we as traders represent the candlesticks in. So is that either a trader is watching the candlestick in a one minute time frame, is either watching the five minute time frame, the 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, and so on and so forth, right? Now, if you just understand what I just did here, it also just means that for any time frame that a trader is watching, let's say for me, for instance, who usually just almost always likes watching the four hour time frame, right? let's represent how it's going to look like so this is just how it's going to look i like watching the four hour which is like h4 is it that you're calling a four hour or h4 it's pretty much the same thing right so for me that like watching the four hour time frame then all it means is that when i switch on a candle on the h4 it means that let's say time wise is actually six o'clock am right and then a the candle that i'm watching just started trading right it's going to actually trade all the way from six o'clock to ten o'clock am so that makes up for what four hours four hours so that is why it is going to be regarded as a four hour candle right so you may see the candle appear something like this with a body and then just with a wick like that so what i have just clarified for you is understanding the time frames right the candles the time frame which is one minute one hour and so on but now we just literally gave an example of the four hour one which is like if the time is six then for a four hour candle to close it's going to close at the next four hour intervals which is like 10 o'clock a.m it's the same with like even if you're looking at it from the hourly perspective right don't get it twisted it's pretty much the same thing if i want to look at this from the hourly perspective as well then all i'm going to do is that when it is let's say we are watching the one hour candle right and it's actually six o'clock a.m then it means that it's going to trade towards seven o'clock a.m. before we're going to have that candle close but that is not the topic of discussion now let's focus on the topic of discussion which is what focusing on the closures now you must understand that in trading we have the bullish candles and then the bearish candles right so here we have the bullish are you able to capture me which means that prices are going up and we have the bearish which means that prices are going down 
right usually some traders like to represent the bullish candles with blue so it means that price usually you see the bullish candle like this and then some traders also like to represent the bearish candles with red you're going to see the bearish candles like this right so bullish prices are going up bearish prices are coming down and then you're going to see it in the formation like this boo 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 and at some point the bears also just comes back to take over bears 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 and so on so that's just how you're going to see the market also come bulls come back again right so just in a very random fashion we tend to see what the market literally going bullish coming back to bearish and back to bullish right so we just continuously observe these kind of movements in the market so if you want to understand the anatomy let's now focus on how the market determines the opening the closure of any of those candlesticks whether it's a bullish candle or a bearish candle but we're going to start from the bullish candle right it's pretty easy what i'm about to teach you we're going to start from the bullish right which means that the market actually went up now remember that because it's bullish and then the market opened from the bottom and then it went up right because it's bullish it literally means that the market opened from a bottom price so let's say if we are denoting these ranges here by the prices right let's say we call here one we call here two three four five six seven eight these are the skills and then we are talking about a bullish candle right now remember that we are still dealing in the four hour right for the purpose of this scenario we are using a four for our bullish candle we can clearly signify that maybe this bullish candle open at a price of two let's just lose this two here so it opened here right so let's say it started trading from six o'clock a.m expected to be closing at ten o'clock a.m right it opened here within the hours of six to ten the market can decide to go anywhere whether all the way up or all the way down but when it opens here that is where you see the flat body of the candle so let's say because it's a bullish candle it started trading all the way up right it's trading all the way up but it did not finish trading up and then within that same time it started losing if it started losing you're going to see that the body is going to shrink all the way and come back to the entry price again and then when the market start trading below this point of two here which is the skill then instead of creating that bullish print which is the blue one is going to start creating a bearish print which is like you now you're going to see a red candle being printed but because the market opened here which is the blue one if it start going back up is going to leave a footprint of a wick is going to leave a footprint of a wick this is something that you must understand very well as a trader when it leaves that footprint of a wick then it means that the candle becomes this. but it is still trading right if it starts to also now trade above again then it's going to keep going up let's say it trades all the way to the price of six right which is just around here but before the time actually hits 10 o'clock then this market just begins to trade all the way down and perhaps comes to close exactly at five then you're going to have the closure all the way here and then now you're going to rather see the footprint of wick above it like that so that is how you're going to now see the anatomy of the candle being built like this the opening now is going to be here the closure is going to be here which you denote by c then this one is going to the wick here is going to be determined as the highest price and then this one here is going to, going to be determined as the lowest price so opening closure highest price within the four hour time frame and then lowest price that the market hit within the four hour time frame the same analogy stands for the bearish one so let's quickly denote the bearish one right now you understand the bullish one so we're not going to waste time with the bearish one bearish the market is coming down right so if we're supposed to still put the skill here which is like one two three four five six seven with the bearish one the market starts to open from the top let's say it starts to open from the six scale range and then it actually stretches all the way up a bit but does not really close there and then comes all the way back down so that is what is going to leave that footprint of a wick here so here we're still saying that we're looking at a four hour time frame and then it say let's say 6 a.m we're looking for it to close at 10 a.m so between the hours of 6 and 10 this market comes all the way down to let's say the price range of three but just before it's about 10 a.m it pulls all the way back up and closes it at the four price range right which is this one here so that one is going to leave the footprint of the wick here around the three region and then now you're going to have the body looking like this so that is how you're going to have a bearish candle close then the label for it is here is going to be the opening this body here is going to be the closure 
still here remains the highest price and then here remains the lowest price within the four hour time frame now the simple trick that i want you to understand with all this breakdown that we just did is that at any point in time at all the only thing that we can yet see is that when you have a candlestick like this one representing the bulls one representing the bears at any point in time that you see let's say a wick around here it means that the bulls push the market up any time that you see a wick around here it means also that the bears pushed the markets down. The same thing here. Anytime you see the wick around here, it means that what? The bulls also push the market back up. And anytime you see the market with the wick here, it means that the bears also pushed the market back down. So once you understand that wicks represent either the bulls being present or the bears being present, when you come to the real market scenario, it makes much of a difference how you interpret what is going on in the market. So now let me switch to the real application life using just one scenario from Euro GBP so that our video does not really keep long for you guys to really get a perspective of the closure. Looking at how deeply I have broken this down for you. Let's quickly look at euro gbp right here now with euro gbp i'm so watching the four hour time frame as you can clearly see it right now if i'm watching this four hour time frame i'm supposed to do my regular analysis then i'm trying to look at save okay we had this low here right and then this market literally just traded all the way up came back to visit these lows is it going to reject here and then perhaps go back up that is just the simple scenario that we're going to be looking as traders, right? But now that we understand that we must wait for candlestick closure and not only just wait for the closure, but understand the anatomy of the closure, then it is also important that we break this down in that same light. So let me use the replay to, to help us here. Now, if you see something like this, this is just what we are looking at, right? Look at this. We have that one candle that pushes price all the way down coming close to that region which i have already denoted here then we see the next subsequent candle come bullish now if you've been watching my video i always tell you that this is the first trick that the market just uses to get traded so you don't want to get in on that first bullish move after a significant bearish drop right now remember we are just breaking down the candlesticks right this is candlestick anatomy video so let's watch subsequently what happens Subsequently, the market just prints a small bearish candle. It does not give us any indication to do anything. So we, we still want to wait within this region. Then we see another bearish candle that pushes the market down, which is very interesting because this is where we begin to see signs of the market, you know, making moves in the opposite direction. Then the most important one comes, which is this very one here so this is what gets a lot of people really trapped in the system if you look at this you're going to think okay could you talk about double bottom especially on the lower time frame and then this market went down came back up came back down came back up had a perfect closure is this that double bottom kojo has been talking about and then might as well just start shorting the market from this range but you all got it wrong because you do not take into perspective the closure because if this is a bullish candle and it started to open from here, this is a four hour candle. Within that trading time of the four hour, the market pushed all the way down to this very wick right here. And then within the same four hour, pushed all the way up to this region, but came back to close here. It means that the bears were the ones that pushed the market finally all the way down. And that should give you as a trader a concern to be very wary of how to trade within that range so with me once i read anatomy into the candlestick with this kind of formation guess what then i put on my patience skills everything that is not going to get me to be tricked into thinking that i'm going to buy within this range and then put my stop loss here just because i can interpret that this anatomy here gives the market out for thinking that the bulls are going to be present so now pretty much most traders are use candlestick are thinking okay i'm going to go long here put my stop loss here let's try to catch euro gbp for a buy i'm sure even today a lot of people actually got trapped into it but because like i said we have identified this very week here which gives out the fact that the bears may have come into the market within the very closure time let's see what happens subsequently with this if you try to short this market and then to think that you're going to put your stop loss just right beneath the range right you're going to put your stop loss just right beneath the range let's see exactly what happens you clearly see that the market just comes back to take you out 
the market literally just reverses all the way back down to take you out and then your money is gone because you did not understand the importance of candlestick closure and then interpreting that anatomy of candlesticks. I don't want to make this video so long, so this is like a part one. Subsequently, I'm going to go even deeper to break it down. This is like one of the most important videos that you're going to get on YouTube. Without wasting much time, if you did really enjoy this carry along video, make sure to smash the like button, let this video do well, so that YouTube is going to recommend it to other traders to learn from it as well. Let us hit about 1k to 2k likes within the first couple of minutes click on the subscribe button we are approaching that 90k subscriber and i'm so grateful that you're supporting the journey and follow me on all social media at kogofrex especially on instagram click in the link in the description if you want to join the kujofrex telegram community members i put out trade signals for the community members to make money out of it for free yes yeah, so i don't really love this video without wasting my time i'm going to see you in the next video peace out